where do you start, okay? With learning Power BI or implementing Power BI, what's the first few steps? What are some good resources? Where can you go to learn more? What's the core concepts? All right, I'll try and do this really quickly and just summarize to help you get started. Okay, let's go. Are you a business user? a finance person, an operations person? Are you coming from a DBA background with, you know, SQL skills? Whatever, okay, Power BI is for you. This is the beauty of it, it's bringing all these worlds together and learning it or where to get started is, is pretty tricky um, because there's so much to it. So I'm gonna give you a brief guide. There will be lots of links in the description below, so check those out. So. First of all, what you want to do is download Power BI Desktop. It is free. You can download it. This is it. And you can start building reports. The core concept is you pull data in from somewhere, tidy it up, organize it into nice tables, and then build visuals. And the key way is to go get data. And this get data button, it's called Power Query. I've got loads of videos on Power Query. You can connect to Excel files, text files, SQL databases, access databases, you know, every month there's something new. So I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna go enter data and just show you a very quick thing. So I can just go in here and say, look, there's item and I can even type in A, B, C and cost one, two, three. You know, you can even make up some numbers and they go load and this is called table. And I've loaded a whole bunch of other stuff over here. We can take a look at that in a second but I'm not gonna go into the details, right? This is not about it. So normally you just go and get some data from somewhere and pull it in. I've just loaded a temporary table and you can start ticking things, item and cost. Okay, you see here a little table comes in and I can make it a chart. All right, so you can just start building things, okay? When it gets more complicated, you can start building fancier things. Like this report is pulling data from my energy provider. I've got solar panels on my house. I can toggle between summer, you know, or winter and slice and dice by month. I can hover over to get a breakdown. I can drill up and drill down into data and slice and dice it. Okay, so you've got all sorts of options in here. Okay, so once you've built a report, what do you do? Well, you publish it, okay? And I'll show you that in one second. First of all, I'm just gonna to go to this model view this is an area you need to learn about. It's called data modeling. It's where you have your fact tables with all your facts and figures, and you might have some lookup or dimension tables, okay, where you can link these together with relationships. So you learn about this terminology. And again, there's some really useful resources, and I'll talk about those in one second. You can also write some formulas, all right? That's called DAX. So these sorts of formulas, average daily hours, you know, average generation by half hour. These are formulas that you can use in your reports, okay, DAX. So that's what DAX is. So once I wanna create a report, I go publish, and then I publish it to the service called powerbi.com, it's known as the service. Okay, how do you get that set up? Well, you can actually, if your business is paying for Power BI, it, it can be even free to get started. But once your Power BI is set up, you can publish it to a workspace. You need a free license in order to publish this. But also, you can go into, um, let me show you here, you can set this up yourself for free, okay? Free trial. So if you go to this little site, and I'll put links below, you can set up a free developer account. Join the developer program, you get an instant sandbox, free renewable 365 license, Okay. And you can just start with a powerbi.com where you can publish and share your reports to via that free trial. Okay, so that's the, one of the free ways of getting started. Okay, once you've clicked publish, it publishes the report. And here it is in the browser. Okay, fully interactive. I can play around with this and I can then share this report. But to share the report, you must have a pro license. Okay, and the consumer of the report must have a pro license. I've done a whole thing on licensing. There are 
other versions of that licensing. There's a thing called premium, where free users can consume the reports. There's premium per user, where you get added features, but that cost is double. Um, but there's a whole bunch of ways of sharing. You can share via apps. If I go into my workspace here, workspace is where you store reports. You can then create an app and share those reports as a package to an audience, even multiple audiences. Okay, so there's all sorts of ways of sharing those reports. Once you've built reports, you can actually give people access to connect to these data sets. So you can connect to it with Excel, you can connect to it with other Power BI reports, and therefore you are centralizing your single source of truth, your data model or semantic model, as it's called now, um, used to be called a data set. You can connect to that and build other reports off it. You've also got things called data flows, so new, and I can go data flow, and that is creating Power Query tables in the cloud. So you can connect to those. So there's all this sort of centralization of data that you can just start building reports and analysis off. Okay, okay, resources, where do you start? Okay, now I'm gonna recommend that you do in-person training because I run in-person training, okay, so I'm biased but I think you learn a lot quicker and you learn best practice in a very small space of time. If you've got a bit longer, then you can buy a book. Again, I've written a book, so I'm gonna say that. But there's also other awesome books that I've learned from. Uh, if you wanna learn Power Query, Master Your Data, the follow-on from M is for Data Monkey, uh, Supercharge Power BI, about how to learn DAX. Other books as well, more advanced, The Definitive Guide to DAX, Storytelling with Data, Big Book of Dashboards, the link to these will be in the show notes. And then practice data, okay? You can download practice data from various resources. There's YouTube channels, you know, there's a, there's a whole amount of awesome people that I've learned from, how to build Power BI reports, etc. okay? And there's also the Microsoft Learn Docs. So if you search for Power BI, Microsoft Learn, okay, there'll be a whole bunch of resources Okay. And you can start to learn about how to generate Power BI reports, getting started, etc. So there's all sorts of free resources as well. And finally, you may have heard of Fabric. So what's all that about? Well, if you log into powerbi.com and you go to this little Microsoft Fabric area, Microsoft Fabric is bringing together a whole bunch of different services. Power BI is just one of them, okay? And then these other services all get pulled in. You also get this concept of something called OneLake, which is where you can store your data. It could be a good alternative to storing your files in SharePoint, etc. cetera. Um, it's new, it's evolving, okay? So watch this space. Fabric can contain things like uh, Python notebooks, you can do data science stuff. You can trigger actions using Data Activator. There's a whole branch of data engineering and data science type functionality that gets brought in-house into the one space and the one sort of set of licensing, which can make it easier to implement for your organization. Okay, so that is a real whistle-stop tour there's lots more links. I've got other videos on what is Power BI, how to get started, other bits and pieces. So I hope you find that useful. Links below in the description. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you in the next video.